everybody, Kaden here, and today I have the Nerf Rival Charger MXX 1200. And this has 95 FPS. Here is the back of the box, and it shows the MXX 1200 in more greater detail. And this is motorized, and it claims that it has ultimate accuracy and 95 FPS. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Alright guys, so now that I've got my batteries in the charger, it's now very, very weighty and you can feel the batteries in the back. It's pretty heavy. And just looking at this, this looks like the P90 and this, and I'm pretty sure this is what Nerf was trying to go for, a look of the submachine gun called the P90 and it has a nice thumb hole right here. It's a little bit big so you can kind of move it in and out of your hands. And also on the bottom right here, we have a safety where this to the front means it's on fire and then to the back is on safety where you cannot fire. So it's just like a P90 where you have your, on a real P90 where you have your select fire switch, but this we just have our safety. And this is for ambidextrous shooters. And we do not have any attachments whatsoever on the barrel. It's just very, a very, very, large and we have these rival styled reels up here so I really like the looks of this blaster they were trying to go for the p90 and to open up your magazine you pull it back just like this and it has a really large spring and so it's also really like the p90 where you pull your magazine out like this and then you're supposed to fill in the nerf rival rounds into this little compartment So here we have the 24 rounds that is included with the blaster and then you just fill it in and they all go to the back of the blaster. And you can fit about 12 rounds in here and then on with your magazine well then you just pull it forward. And there we go, you've got it all loaded up. And here's what the ref sounds like. I won't shoot it just yet, but it sounds really like a really mean fly, flywheel blaster. Oh yeah, it sounds like it's gonna pack a really big punch. And I'm pretty sure it will meet its standards at 95 FPS because that sounds really, really mean. Guys, so I really enjoy this blaster. Um, one thing that I do not really like about this is the way you grip it. So when you put your hand right here, it feels like it's gonna fall off any minute because it's super slippery. It's kind of a slippery plastic and I can't really find a comfortable place. And it kind of feels a little bit uncomfortable for me. So what I do is I put my thumb through this hole right here and then I grip it like almost like a real P90 and um, that's one of the only things that I don't really like about this. Um, besides that, it's kind of back heavy because of the six C type batteries, which is stored right here. Um, but they were definitely trying to go for a look of the P90 and this thumb hole grip right here. Um, I honestly like it. I like how it looks. Uh, just it can sometimes get a little bit annoying um, because you have your um, your wrist right here hitting up against this piece of plastic and it starts to get a little bit irritating but other than that I really like this it's definitely one of my favorites probably one of my favorite nerf rival blasters out there um, but the way you love this too also looks like a p90 because when you take out the magazine not a real p90 you pull it back and that's the same thing that you do with this blaster and you can pull it forward and the um, the flywheels on here sound really really mean Listen to this. And that is with 6C type batteries and it sounds really, really nice and definitely not 
the type of blaster if you're going for stealth, even though it is a really low profile blaster. And we also have right here a unjamming section if you need to get your finger in there if you have a jam of one of your rounds, which is not the funnest thing in the world, but you do have that access door if you need to, if you need to access something in there. And you cannot rev the blaster without with the door open because it's a safety reason so nobody gets their finger caught in there. As you can see, I'm trying to rev the blaster. It will not work. And that's pretty much standard with um, most of their blasters that are motorized. And the iron sights, it's nice and chunky. Um, there's really not much of an iron sight, which to be honest, I don't really use the iron sights on the blaster. Um, but this thing I'm guessing is probably gonna be pretty, pretty accurate. And on the top we have some rival styled rails. So this thing is pretty, pretty bulky. Um, it definitely is, I'm guessing, the Nerf's version of the P90, which I really like. It's just, uh, it's a little bit heavy, not too heavy. It's kind of perfect, uh, the perfect balance, because before when I did not have the batteries in here, the front was a little bit heavy, so um, I'm glad I got the batteries in there and there's a nice balance now. So I'm going to shoot this at some targets. All right, so we're about 10 feet away and I have this small little target and I'm going to try to hit it. Okay, now that is pretty accurate. All right, so I set up these three purple balloons and I'm about 20 feet away and I'm going to shoot them. Speedy quick reload. All right, time for another round. guys so this was my review and shooting of the MXX 1200 charger and I really thought this was a cool blaster because I've really been wanting a uh, for nerf to make like a p90 looking blaster um, rather than airsoft from getting the real deal of a real p90 uh, this is really cool I really like it I just wished that this area where you put your hand on was a little bit more comfortable like if they put engravings for your hands to go in or if they just made it like uh, kind of like a rubber fill, but I just found that I put my finger through this hole right here and it fits just nice And the color scheme on this is uh, part of the blue team in the rival series um, I was expecting there's a little bit more of white in here. It's just a battery cover that has white and um, It's just, it's a little bit more bland. Uh, the only part that I don't really like um, Visual wise is the front. It's a really large hole and it just looks really funny. I don't really like it. And there's no attachments for barrels, which I think um, that would be cool if they made like barrel attachments for the Rival series. Um, so I can have like a suppressor on here. So it looks like a P90 with a suppressor. I really like it. Uh, the weight distribution is pretty good. It's just a little bit uh, um, with the back is a little bit more heavier, but that kind of balances it out because you're kind of resting it on your shoulder right here. Um, also, if they made the the butt plate rubber, it would have felt a lot more nicer because it's starting to kind of hurt right here. Um, if they made it rubber, it would feel a little bit more nice. Um, I just wish they kind of rounded it off even more because it starts to get a little bit, um, how do you say it, like irritating. And the iron sights on here, there's not really iron sights. Um, and plus, I don't really use my iron sights. I just look down the blaster because most of the time the iron sights aren't really that accurate. But um, it definitely looks like a P90 iron sight. And it has a 12 round capacity and it comes with 24 rounds. So you have enough for two refills on your blaster and you can always buy more. And one thing that I noticed here was like this hole that you can probably put like a strap, a strap on. 
on here and then you can sling it over your shoulder. It would look really nice, um, but I wouldn't really rely on it because the weight of this is kind of heavy. And it does not include the 6C alkaline batteries. You have to go out to the store and buy it yourself. Um, but overall, I really like this blaster. I definitely give this like an eight out of 10. Um, I definitely had high expectations for it and it met the expectations. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the MXX 1200 charger. Uh, I really like this blaster and hope you guys enjoyed my review too. You guys can pick it up. I really enjoyed this rival blaster. So thanks for watching guys. Bye. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye guys. Thank you.